Hi, I'm Brian. I'm one of the designers on what we call the Advanced Bot Project internally when we were working on uh, this pretty cool feature uh, that we're really excited to share with you guys. Um, yeah, so, you know, for us, the problem space is really about how do we make playing bots in League of Legends feel more lifelike. Um, I think a lot of times when people play with co-op versus AI, they find that the bots are not very intelligent or don't play like people do. Um, and so, you know, that was just a problem that the team was really excited to kind of take on and tackle. Uh, we took some of our inspiration from stuff like, uh, you know, AlphaGo or some of the, the pretty cool AI stuff that's being developed right now and saying, hey, you know, what cool techniques could we leverage in order to help teach our bots how to play League of Legends better? Uh, so we kind of developed some pretty interesting, you know, what we thought were pretty interesting machine learning algorithms that were really deep to model every aspect of League of Legends play. And that includes, you know, what you do in-game as well as even champion select, emoting, taunting, all sorts of really, really small things that make League of Legends feel more realistic. Um, but in doing so, we kind of ran into a lot of kind of difficult roadblocks. Um, and one of the hypotheses that we had was that it was really, really hard to get the boss to play like people because they couldn't interface with the game like people do. Uh, mostly in that people actually interface primarily with League of Legends with keyboards and mice, uh, with hardware that they actually need hands to operate, which bots obviously don't have. Uh, so part of the experiment then was to basically construct some pretty advanced androids that had hands and fingers in order to manipulate keyboards and mice in a way that felt much more lifelike and, and, and like real players would. Um, and it was kind of a really cool process doing that, you know, coupling the the androids with the really cool machine learning techniques. Uh, we actually developed this this interesting algorithm. Uh, I think we dubbed it internally as the genetic artificial recombinant biometric anal analytics for gauging existentialism, and uh, using this this pretty cool technique in order to try to try to get the boss to be as human like and mimic as much human human behavior as possible. Uh, Throughout the course of the development cycle, we did actually find that this algorithm was just so complicated that even the data we were using and the, and the numbers that the machine learning algorithm was using to crunch everything was just impossible for us to actually be able to do this with any sort of technology that existed on Earth. Um, and realizing that, hey, you know, in the absence of this, maybe our future wouldn't be doable, we decided, you know what, we should just ignore whatever limitations we have. Uh, ended up finding some pretty rare materials from the moon, uh, from Mars, and with some pretty smart people, ended up being able to construct some pretty advanced uh, chips and, and disks and really cool robot technology that allowed us to store all of this data and be able to simulate the human, the human mind and activity in a way that had never been done before. Um, so yeah, you know, we, we ended up putting this into the game. We're just rolling this out as kind of an early beta test to see whether or not these bots really do feel more like humans. Uh, and we just really hope that you guys as League of Legends players will really enjoy what we've done. Uh, yeah, so part of our development process, we actually did a lot of internal playtesting uh, with the new bots and we we're excited to be able to share some of this footage with you guys. So check it out, hopefully you'll enjoy it.